Okay, so um, NoSQL. Um, some say NoSQL is not just SQL. It's just more than SQL. I have a chance to uh, talk to one of the developers. Well, actually not developers, they are partners. And uh, I talked to him about uh, our NoSQL support in MySQL. So he turned around and asked uh, his developers, um, can we do this in MongoDB already? <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know, storing um, there's no SQL data types in MongoDB. So now let me just first start to say this talk is not about uh, when or why you should use no SQL or SQL. And why MySQL, no SQL is better than MongoDB or MongoDB is better than MySQL, right? But I want to tell you today is uh, how we support no SQL native in MySQL and how can you combine uh, the NoSQL with SQL that we know in MySQL, okay? And then I'm gonna propose to you a few uh, interesting use cases that I think is uh, useful if you use uh, MySQL to do uh, NoSQL, okay? So back to the story. Um, so the developers or the architects say, well, uh, if you already know all the requirements and you know how to design the data using relational model, then MySQL is the way to go. But if you don't have the, all the requirements, but you want to get started, right? And NoSQL is the right choice. Why, right? So first of all, definition, right? Um, NoSQL is more or less equivalent to JSON, right? Or JSON. I, I like to say JSON because I like JSON Bond. <laughs> so I say JSON. So essentially it's a JavaScript object notation. It's a mouthful. It, it's similar to XML, right? Extended markup language what it is, it's just a text file where you surround the data with description. And JSON has been, I would say people ditched XML because it's very, very heavy. The payload is very high, right? So if you use XML to exchange data over the network, the parsing of the XML take time, right? And then that's why people uh, use JSON because it's relatively simple and it's, it's, it's very easy to use if you use JavaScript or Node.js, right? And yeah, that, that's what it is, right? JSON and the power of JSON is really, it, it's designed for developers. It's in developers' hand, right? They develop application using the language they want, right? Whether it's PHP, uh, Python, or, 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 or JavaScript, right? They write data and then store it into um, whichever, right? Database or whatever. And when they develop application, if you don't have all the requirement, for example, uh, a marketing tracking application where you want to uh, promote create a promotion, say I have a promotion on iPhone 10, and I want to publish on the website, and you want to track visitor to the website, you know, the phone they're using, uh, the promotion uh, that they're interested, the click on the link, do you want to track all this? Uh, perhaps, uh, you know, in the initial you know, release, you want to track three, four parameters, and you store those in the JSON document. And subsequently, you, you found out that, hey, I forgot. I, I want to track um, where they refer uh, from, right? Where, where do they get this link from? Whether, because if you um, um, promote that, uh, the, the, the event to other website, you want to also track that as well. 
So that's when you would want to add more few into the JSON document. And it's very flexible. A developer can just add that in the application without having DVA to add one more few into the database if you are using JSON. And that's why developer like JSON. Right? They don't have to rely on DBA. Hey, DBA, can you add one more few? Because I forgot right? when I first um, designed the application. So, so in, in summary, this is how the different um, view from different people. Right? So from DBA point of view, I mean, Ivan and I, and I Ivan and me, look at data this way. Relationship. Uh, a country would have many languages, right? That they speak, right? In Thai, uh, you have Thai language, maybe English, and then you have uh, uh, Indian, um, whichever, right? So it's but the primary language is Thai. But you have one to many relationship, and you also have many city. So typically, traditionally, we design data based on using uh, ER diagram, right? Entity relationship diagram. It's all about relationship. So you got to have all the requirement before you can design the whole data model, right? And but sometimes you don't really have the luxury, right? Especially now, digital transformation requirement comes in very, very fast, right? So the moment you roll out your first releases. Your competitor already, oh, this guy is doing this way. Let me have another new feature. So you are constantly trying to keep up um, adding features, adding requirement to application. And you cannot, you don't know what you need to add. Right? So to be more flexible, agile, you use JSON. Right? Because you can store anything that you want. So no SQL also means no structure, <laughs> right? No, no schema. You store anything that you want. It, it's in the hand of the developers. So another view um, is columns and rows in relational, right? Traditionally, MySQL allows you to do this. But whereas in the JSON um, way, is you design your JSON structure, and then similar document will be grouped into collection. So if you look at the database relational way and the NoSQL way, collection is similar to database, right? This document is similar to rows, right? Collections of many documents, tables of many rows. Right? So columns is just structure. It's a key, you know, key. So each one of the uh, JSON document is key and value. So each key identify, it has a value to identify the document. So there's a name, key, there's a date, and so on. And because you, you, you don't have structure, you don't have schema, you, you do whatever you want. Right? And in MySQL, um, we um, support JSON document um, natively as a data type called JSON. Right? So you have your application, you use the API of your choice, send a CRUD, re CRUD with the request, create, uh, retrieve, update, delete, um, and work with JSON document. And then, you know, whichever function, find, delete, update, it will, it will provide you uh, send you the JSON document, right? And internally, we actually uh, have designed um, a new protocol called X protocol on top of the our traditional client server protocol to enable you know the JSON support. And the developer uh, API is called XDev API, which allows you to support the multiple languages, Python, Java and so on, right? And this is enabled by installing an X plugin to MySQL to enable you to work with uh, JSON document natively, 
Okay. So in summary, these are all the component, right? X plugin, uh, the X protocol, which is based on the Google uh, Proto uh, Buff uh, technology. The reason that we chose this because this is extensible, will allow us to add more new features into this protocol in the future. And in ODB class, we leverage you know, like what uh, uh, Ivan just uh, um, explain that all this um, work with InnoDB clusters. So you can build a very robust uh, InnoDB clusters that serve your JSON document. XDEF ABI uh, MySQL shell is for you to interactively test out the JSON uh, API or a JSON document with the API of your choice, Python, JavaScript, or SQL. And the connector, uh, which use hand in hand with the uh, uh, application, right? So uh, let's take a look at how you could use JSON natively in MySQL. So this is a create table. Uh, we just have a column called JSON, and that's it. So you could store JSON into the employee table. And this is how you would insert a JSON document into the table. And when you do a select asterisk, and it give you all the JSON document. Right? This, this is how simple is it? it is. OK, let me just uh, give you a quick demo. So I've used the uh, MySQL, which I shown you earlier in the first section. Okay, I need to switch around here to look at the screen. It doesn't have, it's not doesn't appear on my screen. So I'll select the uh, uh, database and just say use Ryan. Okay, and then uh, I have a few tables. Okay, the table that contains the JSON data type is T1. So I do a select. Asterisk from T1. Okay, so so the, the column one, which has all the uh, JSON document. So there's an ID, and then there's an age, and then there's my name. I'm also same age as the dolphin, <laughs> 24 year old, <laughs> and uh, you know, and then you could. Uh, you can see some of, it doesn't care about you know the structure, right? So you can store anything that you want. Of course, that gives you a problem later on, right? Because you you, know, you don't really I mean, you don't you only really have these views and but but anyhow, that's that's why people use JSON because it's very flexible. And I'm going to explain to you later on the ID and name. You see when okay, let me just um, okay. I'll, I'll talk to you, I will explain the ID and name later on. So this is essentially um, how we manage the JSON in MySQL table, right? So I'm, I'll show you how you can insert a uh, JSON document.
Okay, so I'll insert another JSON document. Uh, key value ID 8, name is Ivan. Uh, he's also 24 year old, just like the dolphin. <laughs> okay, so it got inserted. And we do a select. Okay, so you see the uh, document got inserted. Now, if you notice, insert into T1, whatever, just column C1. I, I didn't have anything on ID and name, but I tell you how and why this can be done um, and what, what kind of usage of these two columns. So far, so good. Everybody still with me? <laughs> OK, good. OK, so um, I've, I've shown you the example. Here's another um, similar example which I had explained earlier related to the marketing, you know, the website tracking. So this is one of the way that uh, you can track and that why people use this to track uh, UJSON to be more flexible in their application. Okay, so use case number one, right? So you can combine JSON with relational data type. And this is the um, the power of using uh, MySQL JSON support. Um, one thing is that uh, you can leverage on the indexing of you know, being able to create index on a column to manage and to select, to aggregate your JSON document. Um, okay. You know, the column that I shown you just now, the ID and name, it can be generated automatically by extracting data from the JSON document into a virtual columns or a generated column automatically. A reason for that is that you can leverage the SQL statement to query that table instead of um, using uh, API or functions to do that. Because JSON document is not a normal you know, uh, data type in relational, right? So it's JSON. So you need to have a uh, function to deal with the data type. So in MySQL, we have a list of, I think, 40 user-defined functions which come together with JSON in order for you to work with the JSON data type. So one of it is called JSON extract to extract uh, any key value from the JSON document for you, right? To do comparison, to do whatever, and so on and so forth, right? So this is what happened when I um, insert the JSON document and I have a column that extract from the JSON document, the name and the ID. Um, you could do it virtually, or you can do a, a, a store, uh, generate a column on a table. And you can have index on those to you know, access the data faster. Now once you have that, um, you could do you know, your aggregation, your reporting, and so on. Now, the other advantage of using uh, MySQL uh, JSON data type is you can leverage on the transaction um, capability that we have. So imagine um, you have a Node.js uh, application. You could have a start transaction and commit to manage the you know, update or delete uh, in your code when you write your JSON document. So that can be transaction manage using um, the MySQL uh, API. So in here, um, before you, you know, select or find or, or update whatever 
uh, data or JSON, you could have a start transaction block embedded in your uh, application um, so that you know you have this uh, transaction uh, control in your application. The second use case, um, I, I, I've explained this, is that uh, you could use uh, MySQL with JSON data type to do reporting, right? Um, if you don't, if you don't do this in SQL, you you, you gotta probably export, you know, your JSON document into a CSV, and then you do your reporting, whatever not, right? So that that's a two. I mean, there's an additional process that you have to do if you don't, you know, if you don't leverage, if you don't use, you know, relational. Uh, that that's that's the one way that you could do for reporting. You know, so. Of, you'll find it's very, very um, uh, useful, right? Especially if you have lots of document, and you know you could leverage this uh, capability in database to do reporting for you, right? So every day you have many, you know, visitor to the website. You know, every time you run uh, marketing campaigns, this can be very, very useful. Okay, so. Um, I have some uh, reference on the, um, you know, API and references, which you can take a look. Um, essentially, it's in, the, it's in our you know, uh, main website, so document, you can download it, um, you can play with it. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is uh, MySQL Shell, which is uh, part of the, uh, our JSON architecture that allows you to quickly test your code interactively using the shell. Okay, so you see a JS. This is a JavaScript uh, command. And you could do a slash SQL to change into SQL mode. Or if you are Python, um, you prefer Python, you could do Python. So currently, you could do three different kind of commands using MySQL shell. Uh, let me just go to JavaScript. So first of all, I need to connect to the database, right? Okay, so you see I'm connected using the X protocol. Um, and you can see I've connected on this port number because traditionally we are running on 3306 and uh, this is uh, SSL enable and JavaScript uh, command. So first I need to select um, a, um, a database. Okay, so you say I can access to the schema Ryan through this DB global variable, right? So you do a DB, you say Ryan connected, and then you do a DB tap, it gives you a list of functions that you could use to work with this uh, schema objects, right? So in here you see there's a, at the, at the right hand corner, T1, this is a table that I've shown you. So T1. Uh, press too fast. Let's do it again. So tap to get a list of uh, functions. Do a select. Okay, so you see you can access the table that way. 
or you can go to your uh, SQL mode. So same thing. So you can uh, you know, switch back and forth, and you could use it. You can test out things very, very fast. Yeah. Oh, OK. OK. Uh, let me try. <laughs> Okay, I'm keeping my finger crossed. Might not work, <laughs> but that—that's the syntax, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I—I I think no. I—I I, I, yeah, yeah. Switch it right like that, and then like that, right? Yeah. Let, let's let's try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but you you get the yeah you get the idea, right? So it's get collection. T1 and then fine and your 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 argument yeah yeah double code fine double code instead of seeing, ah okay yeah 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 I always uh, get confused about this curly bracket I thought I need to do curly bracket. Collection. Yeah. Yeah, you just got yeah, a syntax is, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, that's why I need to also go back and read all this <laughs> to be more familiar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, more, uh, you know, if you, you have. These are all the different um, API and connectors. So in summary, um, it, it's, it's great it's extension. In fact, uh, I, I have quite a lot of fun playing with the MySQL shell because it's so flexible, and you can really test out stuff uh, quickly. Um, and um, yeah, that's about all for my talk. Um, I do have a couple of questions and see whether, you know, um, anybody catch that. I actually mentioned it, but if you, anybody? Get collection. Get collection. Um, that's a JavaScript. I'm looking for SQL. The one that you use in SQL statement, select, whatever, it always uh, prefix with JSON. I'm reaching from my back, so you know that some goodies coming. <laughs> I should show, yeah, I should show. It's a book, it's a book. So, too difficult, right? Okay, I have a simpler one. Uh, uh, can you give a hint, perhaps? Yeah, it's Jason something. Jason something. Yeah. Okay. How many more syllables? <laughs> it's okay. No, no worries. No worries. I don't want to stress you. All right. Yeah. Jason extract. Nice. You know, extract. Remember, just now I saw extract, uh, ID, whatever. Okay. This one is simple. Name one of the MySQL document store component. Ah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's by one of our community manager, Dave Stoke. 
but we don't have time for him to autograph. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, that's all I have. Um, um, back to um, Sharon. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's give a round of applause for Ryan. <laughs>